Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to something a little bit different. We are not assembling a plane today or building a jet. So I love when you guys give me ideas, different ideas for videos. If you saw the turbine installation videos, that came from you guys. So if you have any awesome ideas for videos that you'd like to see me do, just list them down below in the comment section, guys. What we are doing today is we are going to be testing the clevises uh, and ball joints that I have. Um, one of you guys commented on my video of the diamond build and you asked, you said, why are you using the clevises? And I replied to that, but ultimately I got me thinking over the next couple days, what is the, the strength of a clevis? What is the strength of a, of a ball joint? So that's the goal today for this video. We are going to put uh, all of these um, different units through testing and we're going to see how much weight they can actually hold. So each of these units, guys, today we are going to install them as if we were putting them in an aircraft and using them in an aircraft. So the units we're testing today is we're testing the classic Sullivan Golden Clevis. We're going to do the 256 size, which is the smaller size. We're also going to do the 440 size, which is kind of the more common size. And we're going to be testing the Golden Clevis, the 256 size, the Golden Clevis 440 size, which is the more common one. And of course, we're gonna be using the retainer clips as you should be using them in your aircraft. We'll also be testing the metric clevises. Now these clevises commonly come with CARF planes, uh, aviation design planes, and uh, this is a very common used clevis. There's no retaining clip on this unit, but uh, it's pretty common to use a piece of fuel tubing or shrink tubing to, uh, to hold this thing closed. So in today's video, we'll be using a piece of fuel tubing to hold that closed. We'll also be testing this other metric clevis. These look a little bit different than the ones that come with the CARF kits. I don't know where I got these from, but they are a metric clevis. They look like they're a little bit cheaper quality than the uh, these ones here. So I'm not sure how these are gonna perform, but we'll test them in the same manner as the metric clevises from CARF and Aviation Design. For ball joints today, we're gonna be testing the Dubro heavy duty ball joints. We have a pair there and we've got a smaller pair down here. Now each of these units are going to be tested in duplicate to make sure that we get similar numbers with both of the items. Our testing platform today is a three quarter inch piece of plywood. That plywood weighs 5.91 pounds with this entire setup installed on it. So in order to simulate actually mounting this in a plane properly, we want to make sure all the conditions are exactly uh, as we would mount it in a plane. So we've got a piece of carbon fiber here. I believe it's two millimeter carbon fiber, 2.1 millimeters. And uh, this is exactly the same thickness as the, um, the surface horns of my aviation design diamond. We've drilled a hole in the carbon and we've got the golden clevis mounted or the clevises mounted on the carbon itself. And we'll be hanging the weights from the clevis which simulates a push-pull force, so it's gonna be the same whether it's pushing or pulling. Each of the clevises is going to have Loctite inserted in it, the same way we would install it in a plane. And we'll also be using a retainer nut on each of the clevises as well. So the threaded rod has been brought right to the end of the, uh, the threaded portion of the clevis, and each of the clevises are going to be tightened down against the retaining nut. All right, guys, for the first test, we're gonna be doing the metric clevises from CARF. All right, guys, so we had 136 pounds on there originally. Now we have 250 pound weights. So we're gonna start off with the 250 pound weights and then we're gonna add on to that. This is metric clevis number two. Metric clevis number three. 
Metric clevis number two broke at 172 pounds with the pin separating from the clevis, the same as the first one. So next up is the metric clevis no name number one. So the no name brand failed by the pin actually sliding off at an angle and uh, the piece of carbon coming off the pin. This is no name clevis number two. No name clevis number two failed at 178 pounds. You can see the angle of the pin there. It uh, just let go. But the pin didn't separate from the side of the clevis. We're now going to be testing the golden clevises from Sullivan, starting off with a 440 size. Now, one would expect them to be better because the Sullivan golden clevises use a retaining clip to make sure that the linkages or the, the arms don't separate. This is Golden Clevis, 440 size, number one. Oh. Golden Clevis, 440 size, number one, failed at 192 pounds with the pin shearing right in half. This is Sullivan Golden Clevis, 440 size, number Two. Sullivan Golden Clevis 440 size number two failed at 183 pounds and the pin sheared in half, same as the first one. This is Sullivan Golden Clevis, the 556 size, the smaller size. We're only just going to do one of these. So the smaller golden clevis failed at 124 pounds, but it was actually the solder joint that failed on the rod. Next up is the Dubro Heavy Duty Links. Now these links have been um, threaded in all the way just to uh, maximize the amount of uh, threaded rod to ball joint connection. On the first one, we're going to use the spacer in between the carbon plate and the metal or the the ball uh, on the second one we are not going to use the spacer we're going to have the ball sitting right against the carbon plate dubro ball link number one failed at 88 pounds the ball pulled right out of the uh the socket itself on the second Dubro ball link, what we've done is we've put a washer on the outside to prevent the uh, arm from pulling off the ball. We've left the spacer off of the, uh, the unit, and uh, let's give it a go. The heavy duty ball link failed at 122 pounds and the plastic itself gave way. All right, now we're doing the Dubro small ball links. The, uh, again, the ball link's been threaded all the way into the threaded rod or onto the threaded rod. The first one, we're gonna do the same as the other one minus the spacer. So it's just the, uh, the bolt going through it. And the second one, we're gonna put a washer on it as well. First ball link at 50 pounds, pulled straight out. Dubro ball link number two, the small one, and this time with a washer. <laughs> All right, ball link, the mini one, failed at 86 pounds. Same thing as the larger ball link, the plastic giving way. All right, guys, well, I was pretty shocked by the results. Um, 
I honestly had no idea. I figured the clevises would be the clear winners, just based purely on design. Um, I was surprised that the uh, the Sullivan Golden clevises actually beat out the other ones, albeit they were very, very close within uh, 20 pounds, roughly, of each other. So, uh, But all the clevises are really the clear winners. Um, I know a lot of people don't like to use the clevises. They think the ball joints are better. But uh, clearly with the, uh, the clevises almost doubling the result of the ball joints, um, the clevises really, in my opinion, are a good way to go. So when somebody asks me, why are you using clevises on your plane, not ball joints, I think this really shows the results. Now with the ball joints, keep in mind that adding the washer on the outside of the ball joint increased it by about 20 pounds for the holding strength. Um, but of course that washer can decrease some of the movement that you have available with the ball joint. So um, hopefully you guys got something out of this. Hopefully you enjoyed the doing the testing. I know me and Ward, we had a, a bunch of fun doing this testing. Uh, there was a whole bunch of shocked uh, remarks during the testing or, uh, or shocked reactions when the plate actually gave away. Um, but thanks for tuning in guys. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, make sure you list them down below. Again, guys, these ideas for these videos come from you, the viewers. So feel free if you have any airplane related videos, any turbine related videos, that kind of stuff that you want to see, make sure you let me know about them. I keep a list and I try and do them for you guys to, uh, to help you guys understand more and, and gain more knowledge. So thanks guys for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Give the video a thumbs up. We'll see you next time.